Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. AM. All right, guys, welcome back, everybody. This is XL Tactical, and thank you guys for joining me in another video. If you've already subscribed, thank you guys very much. If you haven't, please consider it. That's the best way you can help out this channel. Yeah, so if you're wondering how we got back to this or how I got in this place, yeah, over 30 days ago, I was sitting at home kind of looking at what kind of trouble I can get into, and this was all right around that time where they were talking about how all the ATF approval times and all that. I was really on the fence about it and I said, you know what, uh, there's a really good discount going on, might as well, no point intended, pull the trigger. Uh, found a particular can that fit for my needs, still had not shot through a can, uh, one bit, at least my own personal can. So I said, uh, let me go ahead and, and, and do the deed. Um, I did, um, hoping that it would get shipped pretty quick. I had some fiascos with my shipping, sent it to 1FFL, they kind of dropped the ball. No big on them. Three weeks later. Uh, but I had already talked to the guys at Port Royal Pond and Gun. Great dudes over there. And I said, hey, do you mind if I send my, my can over to you guys? No problem. Sent it over to them, the information. Boom. I got the call on Monday. Few inches later. Uh, hey, your can came in. Why don't you come on in and do the paperwork? Twelve seconds later. I said, let's go. We did our paperwork. Took uh, 20 minutes and all that stuff because some of my paperwork was already uh, taken care of from uh, previous visits there. And I left it at that. One eternity later. Fast forward, I am here. Uh, just pulled up to our uh, FFL. Uh, I'm gonna show you what this is. It's Port Royal Gun and Pond 2.0. If you guys are local to South Carolina, Beaufort, stop by this place. They got some good stuff. They got, uh, you know, a little bit of everything. Got some ammo. Uh, it's a pond place. Um, so you fi have some really good deals, especially if you look through the used stuff. Uh, you might find a real good steal there. But uh, I'm here. Let's see what they have in store. It it's crazy out there. The ATF has lost their mind. You have been on the fence about getting into suppression, an SBR or anything like that. Now is the time. Is it going to stay this way? Who knows? You know, enough of that. I'm going to go inside, see how long it takes, and then um, give you guys a final update on this. A few minutes later. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. You know, their case for uh, suppressors, empty. They had one suppressor in there. Uh, he says he can't. they can't keep them in stock. So, and, and I've heard that uh, around and across the board. I asked him, you know, has this still been the turnaround? And he goes, yeah, man, they've been coming in between... You know, five days a week, five days a week. <sighs> wild times, folks. Wild, wild, wild times. Um, let's throw it back to the studio and finish this up. So, as I wrap it up, guys, yeah, what we have here is the Aero Precision Lahar 30K. Uh, not much I want to talk about too much from uh, this right now because we will be doing a full review on it. But that's where we're at, folks. Um, once again, quite happy. Uh, like I said in the video, the guys in the in the, in the gun shop kind of said, who do you know in the ATF? And I was like, uh, not sure, but I, I, I'll shake their hand. Um, it was less than 48 hours, 36 hours to be exact, uh, give or take a minute or so. If that can would have been in stock there, me filling out the paperwork, taking all that, um, the whole process probably would have taken less than 36 hours from filling out paperwork, background, um, my fingerprints, uh, pictures, all that stuff, paying my, my tax stamp, uh, submitting paperwork, and just letting the clock tick. Got it back within 36 hours. Man, um, while talking to the guys there, they did say there are no cans in stock in inventory. I've checked a couple of the websites that I normally go through, and they're depleted. Some people have like four or five. I have seen this particular um, a gun shop. It's in Florida, uh, Shark Coast Cast, Shark Coastal Tactical. Um, they do some great stuff. They do a lot of custom in-house things for like Glocks and a bunch of different things, and they're blowing up. And they're just like selling cans by the boatloads every single day. 
Um, so if you're still on the fence about it, guys, um, if you're into wanting to shoot suppression, um, not sure if you agree with the whole $200 tax stamp. I've been getting a lot of comments from the last video about well, they're building a registry and that's why they're approving it to each his own. If you guys believe in that, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fault that. Um, it could be, could not be, but, um, you know, everything that I, I do and I go by, uh, I do it legally. So I wanted to make sure that I have these and I can get more content out there. Not only content, but just so that I can have my firearms, protect my gears a little bit better uh, when I go out to the range. But um, now's the time. It is the wild, wild west. It is completely open right now. Um, 48 hours. Uh, I've gotten in the comments. I've heard five days, seven days. People are on their fifth, sixth can. Um, when I walked in, there's like, how many is this? Four or five? Uh, now it's getting a little bit scary as far as uh, being easily to be approved. So you just got to mediate the time of how much money you're going to be spending to this. It is not cheap for sure. I'll tell you that. Um, but hopefully as these times maybe um, get a little bit better in the sense of people not uh, hurry up and buy like I did. Um, maybe the cans and pricing will be a little bit more um, normalizing. So... To each his own. Uh, what can have you been wanting to get? Have you scored already? Um, get that in the comment section below. I really appreciate any insight on that. Until next time, guys, make sure to stay safe, go out to the range, and I'll see you guys on the next one.